Does somebody else have that short of dog? I, I have like time, don't I? Oh, yeah, you have plenty. You have uh, five minutes. Oh, I have five bloody minutes. I want to read this one, though. I always like this one. Um, stretch marks. <laughs> stretch marks on her thighs and belly and breasts. Roadmaps of a woman becoming or having been. Artifacts of turning into what I love so soft in my hands. Supple skin breaking and healing to accommodate her journey. It speaks of what she can't, of where or when. Don't ask because she could never put into words those scars which recorded certain smiles and sorrows, those tiny shames of her appearance, her existence. Mm. Lose your way into her skin. Stay as long as she will let you. Yeah. through it in time, but I probably won't. Um, mind on the moon. Our hearts are stupid, our blood, our bones, and even our brains. There is no wit in a brain cell. It takes billions of them, stupid and automatic, to add up to consciousness, which has no idea why it works or even what it is. My collection of brain cell functions keeps reminding itself of the moon and the odd skim of life on this planet. Brains on limbs like me walk around in tiny spots on a thin outer layer of the earth, dazzled, puzzled, baffled at the ubiquity of life around them, and the beauty of the dead moon in the sky. Altogether, the earth really is as, a, is, is as dead as the moon. All of earth's life bundled together is hardly worth counting as a percentage of its mass. All the cold stone and molten iron even when it comes to the progress of their lives, the bipedal brains are largely automatic. Lust impulses extract offspring. Chemical mm. love facilitates their growth. Mechanical work feeds one end of these descendants of worms and soils the other. Mm. Why? A pointless question. A byproduct of stupid cells which, massed together, can appreciate art. The sublime nature of cats, guys <laughs> kicking around a ball in a stadium, kissing and architecture. Why? It walks around trading dried sheets of pulped plants for Hello Kitty backpacks or bottles <laughs> of poison, which it uses to temporarily kill its awareness. To the increasing dismay of its pets, it spends an inordinate amount of time staring into glowing boxes. <laughs> it tells itself fairy tales about little pigs, big bad wolves, grassy gnolls, and healing lepers with a touch arbitrarily dividing them into categories of true and false. It invents punk rock and argues whether it is a better form of noise than classical music. <laughs> it trades back and forth trillions of pieces of paper, assets it believes it will have, then is shocked and horrified with some other brain, somewhere else suddenly decides the value of those assets in terms of those same pieces of paper is actually imaginary. <laughs> It flings hunks of metal at the stars in its desperate search for a friend beyond the solar wind, hoping to receive some sign that it isn't all just a fluke. It can conceive of a black hole, but not a universe where it is totally irrelevant. There must be a reason, it insists, especially when things go wrong in its tiny life. It expects things to go well and to see the intervention of the cosmos when they don't. Why, on this and other matters, the universe is as mute as the moon? I think yeah. I'm done. Yeah.